In 2019, NASA announced a new mission to study Saturn's icy moon Titan. Named Dragonfly, the mission will see a flying rover examine multiple sites all around Titan. Along with the launch of the Mars 2020 mission, which will also deploy a flying rover, are we looking at the next golden age of space travel? Since 2004, the Spirit, Opportunity and Curiosity Mars rovers have given us unprecedented access to the surface of Mars. We discovered that Mars likely had liquid water in the past, and possibly even life. So what is different about these future missions? Well, for a start, Mars is a pretty familiar place. The whole planet looks a lot like Earth's deserts. Titan, on the other hand, is a complete alien world. It's the only moon in the solar system with a significant atmosphere, which is made mainly of nitrogen and methane. As Titan is so far away from the Sun, it is extremely cold, but the most interesting thing about Titan is that it contains huge lakes and active river systems. These liquid bodies, however, are not made from water, but rather from liquid methane. In this stunning image of Titan, taken by NASA's Cassini probe, we can actually see the Sun reflecting off of one of these hydrocarbon lakes. Before doing the research for this video, I was not aware that we have actually already landed on Titan. In 2005, the European Space Agency's Huygen Pro touched down on Titan after hitching an eight-year ride with NASA's Cassini spacecraft. The Huygens probe is actually named after the Dutch physicist Christian Huygens. As I clearly don't speak Dutch, I'll just call it the Huygens probe from now on. This rendered video, created by NASA using the actual images taken by Huygens, details the descent. After breaking through the hazy outer layers of Titan's atmosphere, the pictures become clear. When Huygens was launched, scientists speculated that Titan could have a global ocean, so the probe was designed to float, just in case. Cassini later discovered that large lakes and oceans are confined to the polar regions of Titan. In reality, the descent took hours as the atmosphere is so dense and the gravity so low. After touchdown, Huygens sent data to Cassini for approximately 90 minutes, which relayed the data back to Earth before the battery died and the probe froze. During this 90 minutes, we even captured the shadow of something moving overhead. Unfortunately, this is not some flying alien, but rather Huygens parachute gently floating down. The thick atmosphere and low gravity of Titan is certainly the inspiration for the future flying probe, Dragonfly. The atmosphere of Titan is so dense and the gravity so low that if you went there and strapped wings to your arms, you would be able to fly. Unfortunately, this doesn't work on Earth. So what do we hope to find on Titan? Well, in the last decade, multiple studies have theorised and ultimately concluded that Titan is chemically similar to early Earth. It contains a chemical called vinyl cyanide, which can link together to form cell-like membranes, which we know is an important process towards the genesis of life. Scientists are eager to see if life could develop in a climate considered extremely dangerous for humans. 
maybe life on Titan looks towards Earth and wonders how it is possible to live on such a hot planet covered in molten ice. That's right, Titan's rocks are made from water ice, so cold that there is no chance of it melting on the surface. But just like Earth has a mantle of molten lava, under Titan's crust is a mantle of molten ice, or water. Just because life on Earth has developed using water, it doesn't prove that all life needs water. Maybe places like Titan, which use liquid methane instead of liquid water, could just as easily develop life. In 2015, scientists developed a cell membrane that could thrive in the extreme conditions found on Titan. All they had to do was substitute the oxygen found in Earth membranes for nitrogen, which is commonly found on Titan. These alien membranes were found to be just as stable and just as flexible as terrestrial membranes, which is the first evidence that life is at least possible on Titan. But what would this alien life look like? It would be really, really weird. We might find some plant life, which would most likely be blue, as Titan receives very little blue light, just as Earth receives little green light. If we found land animals, they would be very large, as they are not constrained by much gravity. However, considering how easy it is to fly on Titan, if there is complex life, flight capabilities would be a necessity. Any flying creature on Titan would most likely be red in colour to camouflage against Titan's hazy atmosphere. All of this is of course simply theoretical, and unfortunately, the mainstream view is that Titan is simply too cold and too far away from the sun to support anything other than primitive bacteria. There is, however, still one giant mystery on Titan. It's high levels of atmospheric methane. As methane is broken down by UV light, scientists speculate that something must be replacing the methane on Titan. If this process is biological, then due to the amount of methane being replaced, this would imply that Titan is literally teeming with life. I guess we won't know for sure until we get there. Dragonfly is due to be launched in 2026, but will not arrive on Titan until 2034. All we can do for now is use our imaginations. Here's a bonus scenario. What would happen if you tried to swim in one of Titan's methane lakes? If you jumped in, you would fall very slowly, but eventually hit the liquid. As you start becoming submerged, you would begin to fall more and more rapidly, until you are quickly sent to the bottom, a bit like how an inflatable shoots upwards in water. This is because your body is much more dense than the surrounding liquid methane. Trying to get back to the surface would prove extremely difficult and would be similar to trying to swim in air. Hopefully you've brought your oxygen tank and a flashlight as the bottom of the lake would be very dark. I guess swimming in Titan's lakes is not a very good idea. Thanks for watching. So, do you think there is life on Titan? Let me know down in the comments.